arranging metals in decreasing order of reactivity. Aim To observe the action of zinc, iron, copper and aluminium metals on the aqueous solutions of the following salts. 1. Zinc sulphate 2. Iron sulphate 3. Copper sulphate 4. Aluminium sulphate To arrange zinc, iron, copper and aluminium metals in the decreasing order of their reactivity based on the results of the above experiment. Apparatus Chemicals and Materials Principles or Theory Precautions Activity Series of Metals the activity series of metals lists many metals. The most commonly studied elements at school level are Potassium Most reactive metal Sodium Calcium Aluminium Zinc Iron Tin Lead Copper Mercury Silver Gold least reactive metal these metals are more reactive than hydrogen these metals are less reactive than hydrogen the vigorous reaction of the metal with water acid or oxygen decreases as we go down from top to bottom in the activity series note Procedure 1. To observe the action of the metals zinc, iron, copper and aluminium on the aqueous solution of zinc sulphate, take four clean test tubes and label them A1, B1, C1 and D1 respectively. Take about 3 to 5 ml of aqueous solution of zinc sulphate in each test tube and place them in a test tube stand. Using a pine sand paper, polish each strip of the four given metals till they shine with a metallic luster. Tie a piece of thread, leave the arrangement undisturbed for about 30 minutes. Then observe and record the changes noticed in the color of the solutions in the test tube. Carefully pull out each metal strip from the test tube and observe the surface of the immersed part of the metals. Test tube A1 containing zinc metal. Observations and inferences. No changes in the solution of zinc sulfate as well as on the surface of the immersed zinc strip. This shows that there is no reaction between zinc metal and the zinc sulphate solution. Test tube B1 containing iron metal. No changes in the solution of zinc sulphate as well as on the surface of the immersed iron strip. This shows that there is no reaction between iron metal and the zinc sulphate solution. Test tube C1 containing copper metal. No changes in the solution of zinc sulphate as well as on the surface of the immersed copper strip. This shows that there is no reaction between copper metal and the zinc sulphate solution. Test tube D1 
containing aluminium metal. No changes in the color of the solution. But a coat of silvery particles is seen on the surface of aluminium strip. This shows that there is a reaction between aluminium metal and the zinc sulfate solution. Conclusions A. 1. Procedure 2. To observe the action of the metals zinc, iron, copper and aluminium on the aqueous solution of iron sulphate. Now, repeat the procedure 1 with aqueous solution of iron sulphate instead of zinc sulphate. Carefully pull out each metal strip from the test tube and observe the surface of the immersed part of the metals. Observations and Inferences Test Tube A2 containing Zinc Metal Original green color slowly fades till the ferrous sulphate solution becomes colorless. The immersed part of the zinc surface is coated with silvery gray particles Zinc reacts with the ferrous sulphate solution. Test tube P2 containing iron metal. No changes in the solution of ferrous sulphate as well as on the surface of the immersed iron strip. This shows that there is no reaction between iron metal and the ferrous sulphate solution. Test tube C2 containing copper metal. No changes in the solution of iron sulphate as well as on the surface of the immersed copper strip. This shows that there is no reaction between copper metal and the ferrous sulphate solution. Test tube D2 containing aluminium metal. The original green color slowly fades till the solution becomes colorless. The immersed part of the aluminium surface is coated with silvery particles. This shows that aluminium reacts with the ferrous sulphate solution. Conclusions A2 Procedure 3. To observe the action of the metals zinc, iron, copper and aluminium on the aqueous solution of copper sulphate. Now, repeat the procedure 1 with aqueous solution of copper sulphate instead of zinc sulphate. Carefully pull out each metal strip from the test tube and observe the surface of the immersed part of the metals. Observations and Inferences Test Tube A3 containing Zinc Metal The original blue color of the copper sulphate solution slowly fades till it becomes colorless. A coat of reddish-brown particles is seen on the zinc metal strip. Zinc reacts with the copper sulphate solution. Test tube B3 containing iron metal. The original blue color of the copper sulphate solution slowly changes to pale green color. A coat of reddish brown particles is seen on the iron metal strip. This shows that iron reacts with the copper sulphate solution. Test tube C3 containing copper metal. No changes in the solution of copper sulphate as well as on the surface of the immersed copper strip. This shows that there is no reaction between copper metal and the copper sulphate solution. Test tube D3 containing aluminium metal. The original blue color slowly fades till the solution becomes colorless. 
a coat of reddish brown particles is seen on the aluminium metal strip. This shows that aluminium reacts with the copper sulfate solution. Conclusions A 3 Procedure 4 To observe the action of the metals zinc, iron, copper and aluminium on the aqueous solution of aluminium sulphate. Now repeat the procedure with aqueous solution of aluminium sulphate instead of zinc sulphate. Carefully pull out each metal strip from the test tube and observe the surface of the immersed part of the metals. Observations and Inferences Test Tube A4 containing Zinc Metal No changes in the solution of aluminium sulphate as well as on the surface of the immersed zinc strip. This shows that there is no reaction between zinc metal and the aluminium sulphate solution. Test tube B4 containing iron metal. No changes in the solution of aluminium sulphate as well as on the surface of the immersed iron strip. This shows that there is no reaction between iron metal and the aluminium sulphate solution. Test tube C4 containing copper metal. No changes in the solution of aluminium sulphate as well as on the surface of the immersed copper strip. This shows that there is no reaction between copper metal and the aluminium sulphate solution. Test tube D4 containing aluminium metal. No changes in the solution of aluminium sulphate or on the surface of aluminium strip. This shows that there is no reaction between aluminium metal and the aluminium sulphate solution. Conclusions A 4 Conclusions B 